and Adelaide City. Last quarter championship, oh, a mistake by Bacchus, there could be an air. Pablo Sanchez, that's it! They've done it! The super sub, once again, off the bench, scores the clincher. Adelaide are going to be champions for the very first time in the A-League era. Then they didn't lose, they lost one for 20 games that followed. Finished top of the pops, host a grand final and put a third nail in the Wanderers coffin. Postacoglu looks remarkably calm. It's almost as though he's accepting whatever fate is about to throw at uh, his sides. But at least they made a game of it late on. Well, at what point did Brisbane just launch it? We haven't seen it all season. Pretty soon, you'd think. <laughs> Not much more time left. They've got one minute. They're still looking to play their way through. Reutsch. Visconti. No foul, says Matthew Breeze. This Conte trying to square it up. It's behind for a corner. A chance for Brisbane, a huge roar around Suncorp. Graham Arnold can't stand it. <laughs> That's unbelievable tension here at Suncorp. The best team of the A-League era. Here it goes. Taken has scored twice but missed three times. And did, of course, miss in the shootout in the grand final against the Raw two years ago. But this is a big kick in the grand final. McBreen tucks it away, and the Mariners are two goals to the good. And surely they can't blow it from here this time. Well, as almost what I'm sure seems to be the entire weight of the central coast of New South Wales descending upon his shoulders. They've been so creaky from the penalty spot, but make no mistake about that one. Emphatic is the only word that comes to mind. Flyberg's got a sweat up now. Hurstall delivers. Julbich is there! Julbich is the hero, a winner in stoppage time perhaps, he's been their best all season Dino Julbich and fitting reward in front of the beach. Clutch of players standing inside the six yard box, they work it back to the top of the penalty area instead, Franich to go deep, Kale had to be didn't it? Timmy Cahill opens the scoring in the cup final and is he about to take possession of a first winner's medal at club level at the grand old age of 36? Robinson. And Fred. Also darts towards the near post. Thompson! Well, the ball is just glued to his boots and glued, it seems, to the back of the net. It's five for Archie Thompson. Oh, it's five goals. Even Archie he can't Thompson. believe it. <laughs> and this, that strength of holding the ball up as Baisley with the long throw. Here's Johnson. Johnson lining up the shot. Decides to have a ping. Reedy drops it. And it's 3 0 to the Knights. Alan Marcina capitalises on a horrible mistake from Liam Reddy. Ricky Herbert and the whole of the Knights bench are up. Well, it's the first time the Knights have been up by two goals. And definitely it's the first time ever the Knights have been up by three. Smiles all around from the Knights players. The Jets have committed a lot of men forward. Maris, in turn, are slow to get up in support. Now, Tony Vidmar, caught in possession by Mark Bridge. Bridge! Oh, brilliant! Advantage Jets in the grand final! And close to the Sydney Harbour, it 
it just had to be Bridge who got the first goal. What a goal! What a strike! What a moment for the Jets! Again, has defended well tonight. His distribution, now, I reckon, has been poor for a player of his quality. That's a good flick on Bubba Breed. Fowler! What he would give for one of those goals today. Mori scored in the last two games against the Sharks. Not on this occasion as yet. Oh, that's a brilliant run by Miller. Here is Mori. The grand final is surely now won by Perth Glory. with the Mark Schwarzer-esque plunge down to his right. Strong right paw. Big, big save for Sydney FC. That's a brilliant save from Danny Vukovic. Oh, that's a brilliant save from Danny Vukovic. And fittingly, Milos Ninkovic now has the chance to win the title for Sydney FC from 11 metres. The Johnny Warren medalist the best player in the league this season. If this goes in, it's Sydney's crown. Nikovic scores! Dreams have come true in Sky Blue! Sydney FC are the champions of Australia for the first time in seven years. What a lovely cross on him, hasn't he, Daniel? Good example of that just then. That ability to drift the ball in behind defences. Brown with numbers. Finds Eiffel. Eiffel against Kandorowski. Eiffel! What a way to go! Paul Eiffel! He might be tired, but he might just be a hero. Well, he doesn't look tired now, does he, Paul Eiffel? Sprinted about 50, 60, 70, 80 metres in celebration. And the Wanderers still in front on aggregate. Al Shalhoub, here goes Al Sharani, Al Katani, Kovic with the save! It's an extraordinary save from Ante Kovic! They can't find a way past. Brilliant play, and he, th he thinks he scored. Absolutely incredible save from Kovic. It's almost behind him. It's on its way into the back of the net, and it's a strong right hand. And somehow, he pushes it beyond the far post. 